All right, hello friends, and welcome to lesson 11.5 and 11.6. So we're gonna cover them both at the same time. And 11.5 is exploring the platonic solids found on page 388. The goal being investigate properties of the platonic solid. And 11.6 is polyhedron faces, edges, and vertices found conveniently in your textbook on page 390. And the goal for that is to determine how the number of faces, edges, and vertices of a polyhedron are related. All right, so let's move on here. All right, first question is, what is a platonic solid? Well, the definition is, and get this down, um, a platonic solid is a polyhedron with faces that are all congruent. Congruent means the same, okay? Uh, all congruent regular polygons. The same number of faces meet at all the vertices in a platonic solid. Now, there are only five platonic solids. Why is that? And they're listed up here. The total number of interior angles that meet at each vertex of a platonic solid must be less than 360 degrees, and at least three faces must meet each vertex. So at least three and they have to be less than 360. So let's explore all of these, shall we? Take these down. Okay, I'm gonna be moving. You're gonna be taking notes, so pause. Okay, we start off with the tetrahedron, triangular base pyramid. Now, tetrahedron is a poly, uh, polyhedron composed of four rectangular faces. Here's the net, three of which meet at each corner. So the interior angle at each vertex, so there, there, and there, there's three of them, that's 60 degrees each. So we take <clears throat> 60 degrees times three for a grand total of 180 degrees. And that's why meets the criteria three, at least three at each vertex, and less than 360, this is only 180 degrees. So take all this down, okay, pause, and I will continue. Cube. In geometry, a cube is a three-dimensional solid object bounded by six square faces, facets, or sides with three meeting at each vertex. Again, that's the, that is what is needed for it to be a platonic shape, 90 degrees times three. So we go 90, all right, 90 degrees times three, and that gives you a grand total of 270 degrees, less than 360. Good, you pass. Okay, good to go. All right, pause, and I will move on. Start back again when you can. All right. An octahedron. In geometry, an octahedron is a polyhedron with eight faces. Okay, if we count those out, you'll see eight. A regular octahedron is a platonic solid composed of eight quadrilateral triangles, equilateral, not quadrilateral, equilateral triangles, four of which meet at each vertex. So one, two, three, four. All right, so at least three have to meet. There's four there and the vertex of each of these is 60. So, I don't know where I can find the room here. Uh, so 60, all right, 60 degrees times four will give you 240 degrees. Okay, good, and that's why it's a platonic shape. Less than 360, at least three. There are four there, and they're all the same on each vertex. Good, good. All right, carrying on, carrying on. A dodecahedron, cathedron. Well, I'll try that again several times after I stop recording. In the meantime, hope you had a f joke over that one. Good. In geometry, the dode, a dodecahedron is a polyhedron with 12 flat faces, but usually, the regular dodecahedron is meant, which is one of the five platonic solids, 
It is composed of 12 regular pentagonal faces, so it's a pentagon right there, with three meeting at each vertex. So the angle of each of these is 108. It meets three at each vertex. So one, two, and three happens in, throughout the entire solid. So we are doing 108 degrees times three. And it is a grand total of 324 degrees. Under 360, at least three, all the same, good, it works. You are also a plantonic shape. Hope you're having fun with me destroying all of these names of these. But anyway, okay. Icosahedron. An icosahedron is a polyhedron with 20 faces. Each has 20 equilateral triangles, faces with five meeting at each of its vertices. So at least three. This has got five. Angle for each of these. One, two, three, four, and five. I'll meet there. This happens throughout the entire solid. So each of those angles is 60 degrees. So 60 degrees times five. Grand total of 300 degrees. Good. So they all meet the criteria. And that's how you distinguish which one's a platonic solid. So there's only five of them. Now, there's another way in which to find out if they are indeed platonic shapes. You can use Euler's formula, Euler's formula. I've heard a couple of different pronunciations. Now, what it is, it proves that there are only five platonic solids. It says, it states, for any convex polyhedron, the number of faces plus the number of vertices minus the number of edges always equals two. So, this is nicely organized in this chart. Thank you to mathisfun.com for this chart. All of these are listed, only five of them. So, face plus vertice minus edges equals two. And this works for each one of these solids. Six plus eight minus 12 give you two, and so on and so forth. It all equals to two. All right, so face plus vertice minus edge will equal to two to know that it is a platonic solid and there's only five of them. All right, so a lot here. Go back, pause, take all the notes, and you're good to go. All right, thank you for watching and uh, have fun catching up with all these notes. Talk soon.